Today, a tactical shooter has announced it is coming back. Originally published in April 2009 by Konami, but unfortunately it got cancelled because the game concept was based on the true events of war that was reasoned at the time. So I could understand the decision in a lot of people why they were against the publishing. It was just the wrong moment in time to bring out such a game. But of course it is never out of memory, that's why they are bringing it back. The real true story of what happened during the war in Fallujah. Now being taken over by high wire games that consist of former Halo and Destiny developers, you can expect some amazing changes. With the game that was first described as a survival horror, not from the undead and unnatural things that you're used to, but more of the feeling of fear and being surrounded kind of type. And I think they will focus on that part the most to create a unique experience in the gameplay. Six Days in Fallujah is expected to release on the PC and consoles in late 2021. was a fortress. It was a well-prepared city buttressed waiting for us to come. The only way you can clear a city is you have to search every house, you have to search every room, and you have to root out every insurgent. We sustained hundreds and hundreds of casualties. A third of my battalion was killed or wounded. It was the bunkers they would build inside houses. And you would go in the house, it would be all quiet and then they would open up on you or shoot you through a hole in the wall. If they didn't hit you right away with a machine gun, they would draw you all the way back to the back of the house where there's really nowhere to escape. There's such a fear. So you're standing in front of the door. You just kick down that door and there's a sense of relief. You only feel it if you survive. We can tell you our stories. We can show you our scars. But some moments must be experienced. I think we've done a really good job of appreciating service members. I think we've done a very poor job of telling the actual story of what happened. 